and I don't know if you are allowed to answer this, but what is your like best case scenario for AI and worst case? Or more pointedly, what would you like to see and what would you not like to see out of AI in the future? I mean, I, I think the best case is like so unbelievably good that it's like hard to, I, I think it's like hard for me to even imagine. Like I can sort of, I can sort of think about what it's like when we make more progress of discovering new new knowledge with these systems than humanity has done so far, but like in a year instead of 70,000. Um, I can sort of imagine what it's like when we kind of like launch probes out to the whole universe and find out really, you know, everything going on out there. I can sort of imagine what it's like when we have just like unbelievable abundance and systems that can sort of, you know, help us resolve deadlocks and improve all aspects of reality and uh, kind of like let us all live our best lives. But I can't quite like, I think the, the, the good case is just so unbelievably good that you sound like a really crazy person to start talking about it. Um, and the bad case, and I think this is like important to say, is like lights out for all of us. Um, I'm more worried about like an accidental misuse case in the short term where you know someone gets a super powerful, like it's not like the AI wakes up and decides to be evil. And I think all of the sort of traditional AI safety thinkers reveal a lot about more than about themselves than they mean to when they talk about what they think the AGI is gonna be like. But, but I can see the accidental misuse case clearly and that's, that's super bad. Um, so I think like, uh, yeah, I, I think it's like impossible to overstate the importance of AI safety and alignment work. Um, I would like to see much, much more happening, but I think it's more subtle than most people think. And that, you know, you hear a lot of people talk about AI capabilities and AI alignment as in, like orthogonal vectors. And, you know, you're bad if you're a capabilities researcher and you're good if you're an alignment researcher. It actually sounds very reasonable um, but they're almost the same thing. Like deep learning is just gonna like solve all of these problems. And so far that's what the progress has been. And progress on capabilities is also what has let us make the systems safer and vice versa, surprisingly. Um, and so I think and none of the sort of soundbite easy answers work.